uh, grown foods. We need to make some hot houses. In the other situation, we had both available. We had hunters and grown food, uh, but here we do not. So the soup boys need resources in wi from which to cook. If not, people will die. They will starve to death. Dang, they are really taking a while to build this medical post. So we have a cold drop coming here in uh, approximately a day and a half. So we need to be prepared for that. Uh, I want to go ahead and build heaters and extend the range of this, I think. Actually, probably just go ahead and build heaters. Uh, or research heaters. Let's check this out. So heating, we want to go ahead and get the steam hub. And we also want to get heaters. We want to get both of these. I think these are going to be the first things we research after we research the beacon. And we get secondary drawing boards. I think. Well, okay, so this is the order we're going to research things. Hot house for food. Sorry, secondary drawing boards and then hot house for food. And then immediately heating technology. Immediately heating technology. Uh, soon we will also build a gathering house. Uh, we'll probably, actually, let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and um, get a gathering post and plop it down. Um, Probably right here. Yeah. And then, let's go ahead and employ some people at this one. Actually, no. Let's go ahead and employ the automaton to work here. Actually, I really don't know. We should, yeah, we should be doing that. We should be doing that. Nope. Okay, I take it back. We're going to stop people from working at this place. Oh, cool. They're out of... They're out of... Wait, which one of these were people pulling coal from? It, it must have been this one. Yes, okay. These are wooden crates. We're going to take uh, a good chunk of people from that one. We're going to assign them to make coal at the coal thumper. We're going to take some more people from the coal thumper and assign them to make coal at the coal thumper. Perfection! Is there an outside threat besides the coal? There is not. But the coal increases and decreases quite a lot. And, well, so there's not an outside threat, but the inside threat is the fact that, see this discontent and hope? Your people can rebel against you, they can die from sickness, uh, and as they get sick and different things happen, they get more and more discontent. They'll form factions that will try and fight you. Um, there's all sorts of crazy things that can happen. Uh, however, also your scouts, when you do get the scouting system, will, uh, oh we can't, we don't, we don't have a beacon yet. When we go to the overworld, they will get hurt doing things, I think, I believe, uh, at least. All right, we need to go ahead and, es and establish um, a working medical post. And get some engineers working in there. Perfect. Three out of five is probably good. We do have very limited people right now, uh, which is unfortunate. Uh, I wish we had a couple more. This game sounds right in my Claypool, it is so good. The one problem is there are only three scenarios right now. One we've already beaten, we beat last night. One we're playing right now, and then another one we're going to play... Uh, in the future, obviously, but the devs do intend, to, I believe, to add more free content on top of it and leave a, uh, and add a survival option where it just goes on forever. Right now, there's a, a specific end goal of each, each system, but it's really good. It has a steep learning curve. It brings you up and down. It gives you survival options and takes away survival options. It really is, uh, quite fun. Quite fun. Alright, there's no point in having any suit boys available right now, uh, but we should have the automaton working at this location. Let's go ahead and make the automaton. Uh, oops. Instead of gathering wood, let's go ahead and make them gather coal. And I believe they'll gather a pretty good amount per day as soon as um, as soon as the people start making the coal. And the coal thumper! Heat is primary all the time. Heat makes people happy, and heat makes people not die. It makes people not sick. It is the overarching goal of the game. However, the one thing we do want to focus on secondarily to that is probably food and housing. Uh, people really uh, rely on food and housing to make them happy as well. Uh, if we, the, also, the other thing we got to remember is we want a preventative. We want to, to keep people from being sick in the first place rather than focusing on trying to heal them after they're sick. Uh, then obviously the primary goal of this situation is to keep these tropical plants alive. But it is pretty damn uh, secondary right now since these, these things are going to stay hot regardless. What is so we're about halfway to researching a beacon. As soon as we get that research that research beacon put in, we will be able to send people out. And uh We're gonna need more steel soon, I think.
Yeah, we're gonna be able to send people out and get new plans, get new resources from the overworld. Uh, so that that is that is also primary at this point. I'm also thinking about going. I think we might also go ahead and get a secondary research tent since we have the resources to do it. Uh, where is this tech? There it is. And plop this thing down like right here. Yeah, this seems like a good idea. Perfect. And then we can assign, then we can speed up research. We'll have 10 engineers dedicated to research, which is going to slow down our resource production, but it will uh, make by or getting, um, advancements in technology that will literally save our lives uh, much faster. It'll be really good. Hopefully. That's, that's the hope. But we will see. There's no wolves. I believe there are some animals that can attack you, actually. I believe I saw like a bear attack somebody in in a previous or in another stream of this game. All right, so our automaton. You actually start the game with an automaton this time, which is really nice. It is just gonna go ahead and start picking up coal for us and continually stock us up. This one's gonna generate 14.4 coal an hour, and I think we're using how much coal are we using an hour? Uh, 144 a day. So if it's a 24-hour day. It's 14.4 coal an hour. We will have enough coal. Um, to last easily on first tier um, stuff just from this guy. And we already have a backlog, a stockpile of coal as well. Spoil the triangle dislikes child labor, it's true. I'm not a huge fan of uh, forcing our children to work, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and get them to gather some more um, stuff. Not me! Guess who broke 50 followers? Elvar! Nice! Congratulations, dude! How was your cast, man? I meant to stop by, but didn't get the chance because I had to rush to dinner to be live for you so we could play some Frostbug. Nice, Elvar! Congratulations, my man. Here's some hype in chat and some good vibes for you! How was uh, Grim Dawn, dude? How was Grim Dawn? <laughs> Feels bad, man, Legion. Me either. I haven't, I haven't broken 50 followers. I actually still remember when I broke 50 followers. It took me four months of streaming every single day to do it. So, <laughs> Elvar is lucky. The, the game's pretty fun. We'll probably give it some more love. Hell yeah, man. Nice. So we are just starting up our secondary colony with our secondary goal in mind. Uh, this one is to save the seeds, the plants of humanity from the cold so that humanity may flourish after the cold is gone. Hype indeed. Nice over. What's the emote gonna be? That's true. That's a fair point. What is the emote gonna be? What is the emote gonna be? Oh, new research. Wait, so what do we just finish research? We should just finish researching the beacon. Let's pause it. Let's make a beacon. Oh. That's awkward. Huh. There is no no steel wreckage around here, I don't think. Let's double check. Wood crates, wood crates, shit! Oh, there is steel wreckage, thank God! All right, good good stuff, good stuff. So let's go ahead and send them all to uh, mine this steel wreckage. Everyone go mine the steel wreckage, because we gotta make that beacon as soon as we can. Um, let's take everyone off the coal for now, since we have the automaton making coal. There he goes, max that out as much as we can. Perfect. Not apply for affiliate yet, though. Need three more streams to be unique streaming days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That will happen. That will happen. If I stream Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I'll be able to apply Saturday, Sunday. Nice, dude. Enjoy. Enjoy. And it will be a face saying, I like a mold. Ha! <laughs> oh, Legion. Oh, Legion. <laughs> Let's see where our workers are currently. Oh, we do still have people over here at the coal mines. Let's take them out as well. Let's have everyone making freaking... Bacon. They need to be making bacon. I mean, uh, co uh, steel. Perfect. Because we have this automaton uh, hauling steel should get us by until we turn up at tier two. Uh, all right. So our next, our next resource, uh, our next, our next research project is gonna be tier two research because our only way to gain food right now is to get this hot house since we have no hunters. Normally, or at least on the last thing we had, we had a tier right here that had available hunters, uh, but they took this one away for this one for some reason. I'm not really sure why. Uh, yeah. So what we're going to do is probably do uh, hunters, or we're going to do hot house for food, then we're going to do heating, we're going to do steam hub and heaters to keep the places hot. 
and then we're gonna go uh, look at other options. But I'm taking you all dry because you didn't have so many wonderful streamers backing you up. It's true. That is absolutely why it took me a while. <laughs> I had some delight, I had a couple of delightful viewers, and uh, not a lot of streamer friends back then. That is definitely why. That is definitely the difference. Networking is all the way. I didn't. I thought Triangle didn't have one. I only got one loyal viewer who always watches me. <laughs> Very nice. Those are the spice of life for starting streamers. It's definitely true. All right, we got 50 woods. We're gonna go and do this. And then, oh, let's employ some people at our, um, there's no one sick right now, so we're going to take these engineers out of the medical bay and just employ some people to speed up research. That is our main goal right now. We need to research. We need to. All right, we have 31 steel, and we need 35 steel for this. We also need some wood. Um, so, ah, uh, curses. So we, we, we're gonna have enough uh, steel pretty soon, so let's just go ahead and get these people to uh, get some wood, because we need, what, I think 25 for it? I have a mod who always watches me because I own him. That is how moderators work, right? I believe it is. <laughs> He's getting a sub, hell yeah, dude. That is, uh, that is generous of him. Oh, we got two sick, wow, that was really sudden. We got people sick really suddenly. Jesus. Why are people getting sick, actually? It's kind of strange. Let's, let's check Let's check the heat. People should not be getting sick in this heat. Prevents getting ill. It's comfortable. And then all the working conditions are... Um... Ooh, it's this coal pile. The coal pile itself is... No, 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 but people aren't working at the coal pile. They're working at the coal thumper. They must be getting sick going and gathering... That's what it is. They're getting sick going and gathering materials. I see. Slavery might be illegal, but I don't care! It is illegal, and you should care, Sith Lord Elvar. <laughs> is that what we call alt accounts? <laughs> you mean bots? Yes, that is... I, I believe that is what he's implying. Oh, cool. They got unsick. That was really fast. Being treated. The light of care. Very nice! I do actually have an alt account that is my mod, so do I! Say hi, Tranglebot. Oh, wrong one. There it is. The hello is a targeted command. Wait! How come that uh, emo- Oh, it's not tier 3 sub anymore. I should probably change that. Let me go ahead, let me get, go ahead and get rid of that. It's kind of funny. I never noticed that. One second to all of you fine fellows! I notice I'm the youngest viewer here. Uh, I, you're the youngest viewer here on a regular basis, but we have some viewers that are as young as 12 sometimes. But right now, maybe you are. <laughs> All right. Actually, I think it's 13 is the youngest viewer we have. I can't remember. So we don't have any resources for food, so we don't need anybody cooking right now still, although we will probably need that soon. I'm he, young, youngest viewer here. Very nice. We do have a lot of coal, which is very good. Uh, that is ideal, actually. We're almost hitting max stockpile already. So let's go ahead and, um, where is this? Build this beacon. Oh, we need more steel. No, we need more wood. Interesting. We'll, we'll easily hit that tomorrow, though. That'll be good. That'll be fine. Guess my age triangle. 15. I'm out of tea. It's a sad day, chat. It's a very sad day. 17? Easy! <laughs> oh, God. A asking someone to guess your age is always a risk. I could have said 12, Legion. I could have said you were 12. Oh, wait! I said it once, didn't I? No? What do you mean? I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> you did say it once, yes, and I actually remember that now. 
It's kind of funny. Jasper does pay attention. He's on point always. That's why I keep him employed. The only reason I keep him employed. Wow, research is going really slow. So I guess we're, so we should have finished researching um, the drawing boards tomorrow. The cold! It's coming, chat! Yikes. All right, so this is chilly. If they go below chilly, we uh, are dead. So we need to... So we're not dead. These things... The, the plants die. This one especially, I feel, is at a pretty high risk. The work ship starts. Chilly? We can always put it on overdrive once the temperature goes down if we haven't completed researching... Uh, <laughs> Quit stalking, Nick. <laughs> Chili, yes. Beans and tomato sauce. It's beautiful. Delicious. Delicious. High level stalker. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. All right, there we go. We have enough uh, to build the beacon. We must build the bacon before it builds us. Uh, and we don't need to worry about the beacon being in being heated. But what is that? Oh, oh, this is the tree thumper. We need, we we definitely want this to be a thing. This is so valuable. Uh, though we do have a lot of trees available for chopping, so I really don't know. Maybe, maybe not. However, what I was really trying to say though is that we don't really, we don't care about this beacon being heated. I think because no one's actually going to actively be using it, so it can be cold if, if it needs to be. So you can put it pretty much anywhere that there's a street. We don't want to put it like somewhere. Although these are all going to be heated by heaters. So maybe we need to put it somewhere that it's not going to be crowded. Um, I haven't eaten yet, just because I don't want to leave the stream, Legion! <laughs> Go get some food, my friend. Even I went and ate. Even I went and ate. So decide where we're going to put this. Chili does sound good. Sounds really good. I uh, just learned a meanly delicious chili recipe recently, actually. I'm taking way too long to decide. Oh, people are sick. Um... Let's take some engineers from the steel pile and put them in here. That sounds better. I want food too. Go get some toast, Selvar. Go get some toasts. I'm taking way too long to decide where, we are, where I want to put this beacon. But uh, for some reason, I'm, I'm feeling really picky about it. Tacos sound good as well. Yes, they do. I had a delicious grilled sandwich with cheese both cheddar and provolone, some sliced onions, tomato, some mayonnaise, and some Dijon mustard. It was divine. It was so good. I'm not paying for delivery. I never pay for delivery. I refuse. Can I please put this, uh... Can I please decide on a place to put this? Let's put it back here behind this thing. I guess I guess that'll probably be a good location for it. Destroy resources. That's okay. This will only destroy a little bit. Good place for our beacon. Out of sight, out of mind, chat. Is this turn-based? Uh, I don't... Uh, what do you mean by turn-based? If... Uh, it's not like where you have a specific set of moves. You have unlimited moves, your, your resources are the only thing constraining you. You can pause it at any point, and you can speed it up at any point as well. Um, so the answer, I think, to that question is no, but I... You may mean something different than what I am thinking you mean by turn-based. It's day-based. I guess that's true. It's day-based, but also not every day the temperature changes. How close? We're very close to finishing this research. Good. Perfect. Drawing boards are ready. Let's go ahead and add a new research project. Hot houses immediately. Actually, we can't do hot houses yet. We gotta do uh, the heaters. We gotta do the heaters. Yeah. Because we get when the temperature drops again in two days, these need to be above chili, and they're already at chili. If it drops again, then all the seeds are gonna get destroyed. One day I'm gonna afford an item off the McDonald's dollar menu. Same, same, Legion. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll get there, man. You will. The dollar menu is the least of your worries. <laughs> the least of your worries. I think I see how it is. The time of the game is continually moving. Yes. If you look up here at the very top, there's a time scale. Just day. We're on day four right now. You can speed it if we want. Uh, you can pause any time passes and make moves. Yes, exactly. Or you can make moves while time is passing if you would like to. And each thing is constrained by time. Like each research project takes a specific amount of time, depending on how many people you have employed. Uh, all of our, we only have 46 people in this colony, 
Uh, and to put that in perspective, we ended our last colony with around 300. So you pick up new people step by step as you move forward. Um, and you have to build new machines to more efficiently harvest resources because uh, if we don't, for instance, look, we can only go to steam level one. But the problem is that only um, does plus one temperature, which is, I think, counteracts uh, 10 degrees Celsius. If the temperature drops again, it'll be negative 40 degrees Celsius, and we will have to uh, have these heated up somehow. So our options are either get a heater in each building, in each workplace, um, get a area of effect heater, which is what we're going to do next after we get the heaters, or up the steam level for more coal consumption. Three blankets and a wonder why I'm burning. Yes, dude, I do that all the time, actually. I'm like, I am sweating. What is what is going on right now? Why am I, why am I so damn hot? <laughs> All right. We still have no one cooking food because there's no no raw food for them to cook. Nine demon soup boys are just completely neglecting their duty. Why the hell is no one building this beacon? What's up with that? That is one thing I kind of wish you could do. I wish you could order people to just go do it immediately. I, I'm pretty sure you can't. So they're just going to do it when they like, go on break, I'm pretty sure. All right, let's uh, look and see what we need to be building next. The problem is we are getting to the point where we are uh, capping out on our worker limits. The more buildings we have right now, uh, it doesn't really matter. However, don't you R-E-W me, Elvar. Or Ophelia W me. Should be fine. Uh, you know what we're going to do? We're going to build another uh, stock depot to go ahead and stock up on coal. Just really, really get things going here. Oh, we need 40 wood for that. I really did not realize that. Hmm. Okay, well. Let the engineers keep doing their thing. Functioning because storage limit is reached, so the bot is not uh, gathering fast enough. That's okay, though. That should be fine. I will! It looks so weird in light mode. Yes, it does. It's like blinding. It's blinding, Jasper. All right, uh, let's speed things up a little bit. We, we want to go ahead and get um, this 30 wood, because ideally what I would like to do is stock up on so much coal that we never have to worry about coal. Uh, that probably won't happen, but a, a, the, another big detractor from our previous uh, playthrough, besides making promises we couldn't meet, was uh, the fact that we, <laughs> yes, light mode, light mode does exist. <laughs> and, uh, Oh, was that we ran out of coal multiple times. A lot of people got sick, a lot of people got discontented, and uh, people were so cold because the generator turned off. Alright, there should be... Oh, not quite. People are mad! The ceiling arcs might freeze. In a few days, the temperature arcs... In a few days, the temperature will drop. Our ceiling arcs will be in danger. We have to keep them in warm with heaters or steam hubs. Good thing I'm a genius Frostpunk player. I'm not. Uh, we are already almost finished work, uh, researching heaters. We did that just on time. Drilling dogs are to get child labor and dirty politicians. Never. We will never have child labor. Actually, we may do a child labor run this time. I'm not, I'm not certain yet. The nice thing about not having child laborers is that they go help the engineers, which is actually pretty good. The problem is you do have to build an orphanage for them. All right, almost done. We still have a day left, so we'll be we'll be able to get the heaters in with plenty of time. <laughs> you fools! How dare you speak of such things? We no longer. Oh, the 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 other thing that's interesting is we no longer have the option for 24-hour shifts. I don't know if that's because we haven't gotten the. Ah, uh, yes, it it is that is why. Okay, uh, we're probably gonna want to grab that at some point soon. I you could also get dueling laws, public houses. I think there's like prostitution areas or something, and we can get public fighting arenas. Uh, but we're gonna build that, and I don't want to. I don't want to do that. We're gonna go ahead and get an emergency shift, just in case we really need it for some reason. We probably won't, but I want to have that option available to us. Hey, give the best, but somehow I don't hate orphans! I always feel bad about orphans. Yeah, because parents are kind of a nice thing to have. I would attest to that. Alright, the beacon's finally getting built, which is good. I, I figured it'd be, get, it'd be getting built in the off time. 
I'm out of water. I am out of water. Orphans. So this is probably the last day. Wait, did we finish researching? Oh, we did it. Okay. So next step, we gotta research uh, food houses because this we ha we're done. We're out of food rations. So tomorrow, people will be starving if we don't have them uh, have stuff growing. Oh, curses! Let's gonna speed things up. Two people are sick. They should get healed though. That shouldn't be a huge issue. Uh, shift, reasons. One's in treatment. Oh, interesting. One person is being treated in their own hospital. One employee delivers 50%. Beacon built. Nice, nice, nice. All right. So, there's our first area. These are our abandoned supplies. We had to drop them. Now all we gotta do, something's happening. Storm on the horizon. Cat with a beacon op operational. We can clearly see the storm approaching from the south. Still some distance away, but we'd better keep an eye on it and make sure we set up infrastructure needed to beat the arcs to heat the arcs before it hits. This is the same deal. There's gonna be a severe storm later on. Uh, let's go ahead and disband some of these steel workers. Uh, we need five citizens. Are these all engineers? Oh, we just need one more. Okay. Oh, we need 40. Of course we need 41. Of course. It would be oh, it would be the only thing that makes any sense whatsoever. All right, let's go ahead and start. Oh, we can't start a new research project quite yet. Speed up, speed things up a little bit. Tomorrow, almost immediately, we'll have our heaters in place. We can go ahead and get those turned on. Trying to go, when are you streaming Tetris? Never, ever, ever will I stream Tetris, unless there's some weird, extenuating circumstances. Like a weird, strange goal or... <laughs> Something of that matter. This is the closest to Tetris I will ever play. Probably not true, but... Um, interesting. I kind of want to build... Do we are... No, we haven't built one yet. kind of really want to build a gathering depot. That's going to take a lot of wood. A lot of wood indeed. All right. Um, also, I, I'm kind of curious whether it's... it's uh, possible to upgrade your gathering post? I don't think it is, but I kind of want to look real quick. Where is this? Faster? Oh, it is! Oh, I actually didn't know that. Huh. Faster better tools method. People gather resources from coal piles, wood crates, and steel wreckage. I wonder if that would upgrade how fast our automaton would do it on the gathering post, or that's just your base goal things. Inflation, I think. Whether using, whether using gathering posts or not. I kind of want to try researching that, to be honest. Tetris must be streamed. All right, let's go and speed things up a little bit. We are capped out on coal, which makes me really want to go get a uh, an increased storage facility. I don't know how you find all the games you play, Triangle. Uh, I have a very close ear to to recent releases. Uh, so I watch other, what other streamers are looking into playing. I watch video game news very closely. I follow most Steam accounts and like uh, a lot of indie devs, that sort of thing. All right, here's a research. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's just go ahead and turn all of these on, just in case. Nice. Um, let's go ahead and turn all these on as well. We'll keep the cooking house chilly for right now because no one is using the, the cooking house. And now we're going to have to make uh, make food. we got to make food. If we don't make food, people are all going to die. Let's just go ahead and do that. 10 steel and 20 wood. we got to do it, though. We have to. If you know math, that is. Minesweeper is so easy if you know math. I, uh, I never really understood Minesweeper. I know there's like a secret, like not a secret, but like a thing where you can just tell how many spaces are bombs around it or whatever, but what is maths? Never heard of this maths thing you're talking about. It just seems strange to me. So yeah, that that's how, Legion. 
I just I am following gaming news very very closely. And even doing that, I still don't hear about some of the games that come out, so. Like, for instance, I was not planning at all on playing this. We need to turn up medical pose right here. And then I saw the people playing it, and I was like, I had heard of this one, but I wasn't planning on playing it. And I was like, wow, this actually looks really fun. And so now uh, we're here, playing it. 